Hello Aquarius. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. Okay, so Unifrance, what's the current energy between Aquarius? So you guys got the King of Wands. We got to deal with Leo, Aries, okay. Um, it's Leo season. So I feel like this person is really trying to prove things to you. They're trying to be really action oriented, very initiative, okay. Unifrance, the person that's on Aquarius mind, what would this person like to say to Aquarius? Five of Cups in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, interesting. Five of Cups in reverse is about getting over someone. Uh, I mean, in reverse is like getting over someone. Page of Pentacles in reverse is not be apologetic. So I don't know if this is ego. Let's see. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Aquarius mind, would this person keep it hidden? Two of Cups. Okay. Um, this person is trying to appear, like trying to like work through their ego more than working through their heart, like having their heart on their sleeve. Because I feel like this person do have feelings because this is what they're keeping hidden. Universe, the person that's on Aquarius mind, how does this person feel about Aquarius? Ace of Wands, they're very attracted to you. I feel like this is someone who's trying to force himself not to get too deep too attached to you okay that's what i'm getting um this could be a newer connection here with that ace of wands being there universe the person that's on course mind with this person true feelings for aquarius ten of swords something ending so this could be okay this could be someone that you dated before and this person's wanting to keep the connection very casual not be in a relationship if you was in a relationship with them they just want to keep it very casual where no feelings is attached basically universe the person that's on Aquarius mind what intentions does this person have with Aquarius nine of cups page of wands yeah so this is someone who's trying too hard trying too hard to not get attached to you okay this person could be a Virgo there's some um, Leo Aries universe the person that's on Aquarius mind what action will this person take with Aquarius ten of pentacles seven of swords this is someone who's very wishy-washy they try too hard they're trying to appear like they're not as attached or have deep feelings and that's a lie okay um this is someone who also likes to have multiple options just so they can feel important okay and deal with those other options and never really commit to one person the interesting thing i got the ten of pentacles at as their action so i feel like they're going to be with this fickle type of energy Universe cut by the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Universe cut by Six of Swords. King of Cups. Yeah, this is someone very pickle. So I feel like this week, the energy is going to be very, like, weird. It's going to be very chaotic and very scattered. Okay. One, mil one minute... They're going to be very action oriented, very initiative, like planning dates and stuff like that. And then the next moment you don't hear from them or the next moment, like they're not being as initiative. OK, that's what I'm seeing. It's like really like on an like a like a wave. OK, that's what I'm seeing. So <laughs> the sign, I would say the energy is giving Virgo. OK, but could be um, a Leo that have Virgo on their chart could be uh, Aries as well. Um, yeah, now let's see. Okay, let's look here. So, universe, give me a four hearts body messages you have for Aquarius. So, there is have no fear, Pisces, fears will make you question it. Universe, give me two more cards. A lot of cards here. Six of Wands, you are beginning to realize who you are, codependency, repentance, don't spend too much time in consultation, fortune's favorite action, trust your intuition. And then we have a freestyle card. We got the two cups. I want to show them. I'll get one more card. The Cancer Hangman and Estrada. Yeah, they're trying to hold back, but they, <laughs> they're trying too hard, basically. They're fronting. 
they're bitching you right. You know how this person feels. You know that this is somebody, someone who's playing games. Okay. Um, this is someone who may feel like when they do fall in love, they don't know how to really, <laughs> they feel like the other person have power over them. Okay. So this is someone who really try hard not to fall in love. <laughs> okay. So let's look at this deck. Universe, give me a four card spread of messages you have for Aquarius. Universe, give me a four card spread. So less, yeah, I see that. They gotta keep it like very casual, very less based, okay? Um, but still probably expecting you to give them girlfriend, boyfriend benefits, wife, husband benefits, obedience. Yeah, they want you to be loyal. They want you to only deal with them. Then we got the Queen of Wands and then we got the Queen of Cups. Probably there's another, those, there's two other people as well. Universe Clifford, the High Priestess of Water. Universe Clifford, the High Priestess of Water. The Moon. This could be their, their emotions. Like, you know that this person do have deeper feelings than what they're showing. The Warrior. Forbidden, yeah, focus, yeah. You know, you're picking up that they do. Universe Clifford, the High Priestess of Fire. Listening. You must talk about listening. Reminder, beauty, very attracted to you, okay? But not only just they're only attracted to you um, physically. Um, I feel like they are, they have emotions. They're just trying really hard not to show it and not to express it, okay? Let's look at the Kepler deck. Universe, give me a three card spread. I don't just you have for Aquarius. Family room. Expectation. And then message and concern and great fortune. Okay, so there's something else. Um, something re regarding family. Um, you are going to get a message. You guys may feel like this message is not good, but it's actually good news. Okay, so it could be like, for example, you... Um, have a child you want your child to be in a charter school you're waiting for a lottery i feel like you're gonna get your child gonna get it or you're gonna able to enroll your child to a great school it could be like something relating to that it could be um a elder family member you're trying to find the best fam um nursing room for them or the best doctor okay it's good news you just concerned that you won't get it but it's actually you're gonna get it like whatever you want to happen when it comes to the situation it's gonna work out in your favor Okay, and your family favor too. It's not bad news. So let's look at the other deck. Okay, Universe, give me a three card spread. Let's just see you have for Aquarius. So we got discipline in reverse, then doubt in reverse. And there is health and abundance. Gen energy is changed. Yeah, they need to actually heal, okay? Because I feel like this is someone who's still stuck on a situation, a connection that didn't work out for them when they was expressing themselves emotionally. So they have this fake persona when it comes to love, a fake representative when it comes to romantic relationship. Um, and they can't miss, up, uh, miss out on opportunity with you because they're not being authentic when this have a lot of potential with abundance and health okay they need to evolve and change so let's look at this set okay universe give me a four card spread what messages do you have for aquarius universe give me three my cards what messages do you have for i got a lot of cards Okay, universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, so universe, for the general uh, message, I got traveling lightly, simplify your life. Then it is navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, a win win outcome is forecast for Mona Libra. Okay, so Libra do rule family, relationships, and love. So again, I feel like things are gonna get better in your household when it comes to family as well. Luck is on your side, new moon Sagittarius. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Expect a powerful change. 
New Moon Eclipse, First Light, Beginning a New Cycle, Balance Spirituality and Practicality, New Moon, I mean, Full Moon in Pisces, Overcoming Obstacles, You Can Overcome Anything, and Choosing Your Path All is Possible. Yeah, so I feel like and that's true because Aquarius are a great family member. So um, probably you guys are the head of household or you're um, probably you are adopting a family member like a their child like something like that probably something happened but i feel like it's going to work out for you and your family and then transformation a fresh new way of living emerges prosperity lies ahead new moon and taurus breaking trail of breakthroughs at hand confidence in your key to success so this is about case or situation it's going to work out for you okay new moon and leo probably by the new moon and leo which will be yeah the 28th 27th so this week okay that's yeah this is this week reading so the end of a tough cycle approaches from one and capricorn then a view from above get the big picture bring love into the situation and one inquires what you're doing and um your dreams need a practical plan for one and towards it could be closing on a property too for your home i mean for your family that's so all about here family and you <laughs> not really about that other person so let's look at the angel answers. Let's see. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Aquarius? So meditation brings answers. Be assertive, it's up to you. And then listen to your intuition and communicate clearly. I feel like what I'm trying to say it's um, this person is just trying to test you as well to see like what you allow and what you accept. But let's just say you do like this person. Have this talk with them. Like if they're not willing to be authentic, then it's probably best for you to just disconnect if you actually looking for a healthy long term relationship. Okay. If you don't really care about this connection as much, then you know it's like it's really up to you if you want to stay in it. But if you do care about this person and you do see a future with them, just have this talk with them because I feel like they're trying to test you to see what you allowing. Okay. Jenna energy, it's in the near future. Universe clarify in the near future. Yes. <laughs> okay. Choosing a new direction. Some of you guys probably will leave, okay? Because you see that this is someone who's still not gonna be authentic. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfinitero at gmail.com.